Slovakia is a rich and varied country. The northern part is covered by mountains with vast forests. In the south, the land opens up into a plain which goes as far as the Danube. Today this river forms Slovakia's border with Austria and Hungary. But 2,000 years ago, the powerful Danube was the well-controlled frontier of the Roman Empire. In 6 AD, the Roman general, later Emperor Tiberius, crossed the Danube near the spot where modern-day Bratislava is situated. With the help of his legions, he intended to conquer the territory of the Germanic king Marbod. The castle of Devin near Bratislava. Archaeological excavations showed that the rock was used by Tiberius as a strategic base for his campaigns. The location offers great views along the Danube and over the mouth of the river Morava. But revolts in another part of the empire forced Tiberius to withdraw his troops from the region. In the following centuries, the Danube formed the border between the Romans and Germanic tribes. Wetlands characterized the area around the Danube when Romans and Germanic tribes first settled here. In the village of Rusovce on the southern bank of the river Danube, archaeologists were able to excavate parts of the Roman frontier fort of Gerulata. The fort was erected at the end of the first century AD and constantly adapted. First Roman foot soldiers were stationed here, then from the second century onwards a cavalry unit controlled the frontier in this region. The archaeological museum in Gerolata gives visitors insight into the remarkable history of this fort. The Town Museum of Pratislava regularly carries out excavations in Rusovce. Because the ancient monuments often lie beneath modern buildings and roads, cooperation with local construction companies is important. During the Marcomannic Wars in around 177 AD, the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius had to fight fierce battles in Upper Pannonia. Roman troops advanced far into Germanic territory. Numerous temporary military camps from this period have been found in Slovakia. The Roman fort of Asia also dates back to the reign of Marcus Aurelius. It was situated north of the Danube, right opposite the legionary camp of Brigetio. At the end of the Marcomannic Wars, the former earth and timber fort was destroyed. After the peace treaty, the Romans built a stone fort, which was probably called Kelemancia. In the late Roman period, when pressure from the Germanic tribes on the Danube frontier became stronger, Mighty fort towers served as additional protection. For years, archaeologists have been excavating this Roman monument. The finds and research provide interesting insights into European history.
The quads north of the Danube enjoyed peaceful contacts with the Romans for many years. The National Museum in Bratislava exhibits many finds which demonstrate the intensive exchange between the Romans and this Germanic tribe. The houses of the Germanic tribal leaders, like the one in Bratislava Dubrovka, had Roman buildings. Here archaeologists were able to excavate a bath built in Roman style. Both cultures, whether Roman or Germanic, influenced each other, and this influence shaped the history of Europe. Contact between cultures is very visible along their borders. The former ancient frontier region along the Danube in Slovakia provides a thrilling field of exploration.